Well, folks, this one will have you grasping your heart and uh, pleading with God to please, please, please say this is a fake news story. Or maybe you're like, yes, finally somebody sees it the way it should be. <laughs> well, if you're power mad, you love this. And if you have no heart, you wait. No, if you have. Wait, well, we'll see. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you the facts, and I will, uh, of course, infuse them with my own bias, but, you know, and then you decide. Indonesians caught without a mask forced to dig graves for COVID-19 victims. So there's about, I think it's five or so people. I'll give you the specifics in a little bit. Just hold your horses. Five or so people here that uh, Indonesian uh, judges uh, said, listen, man, this is, this is for not wearing a mask. You got to dig graves. That's right. You got to dig graves for the people who died of Coronavilles. Welcome to the Coronavilles where you get to dig graves if you don't get dig mask. If you're living in Indonesia, you might have been caught up in a trap and a snare. Now, now, lest you be fearful in Indonesia and imagine this is going to happen to you across the country. And all of a sudden, all these you know, a whole bunch of new grave diggers find them way uh, find themselves ironically enough they'll probably end up spreading it more that way because they have more grave diggers than and then anyway so well the bottom line is that uh there's this triad of uh it's their what is their national police their local police and some other entity that they all got together and they says okay tell you what we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try and, uh, we're gonna try and actually. Oh, by the way, here's where Indonesia is. Just to give it a little, just uh, you see, they're just the north of Australia, 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 Australia. There's Indonesia's uh, statistics there lately. Their new cases uh, since March 15th, they've been just keeping on, uh, keeping on the upswing there, keeping on the upswing. So I think at this point they're like, yo, man, nothing's working. What are we gonna do? make them bury the dead and so so they've done that this is from ctv news uh this is a canadian a canadian publication is what it is not that there's anything wrong with that villagers who refuse to wear masks are being forced to dig graves for victims of coronavirus <clears throat> well you could say covid19 i prefer coronavirus because we've been living in coronavirus for quite some time now. I'm quite used to it now. I've inured myself to the whole affair. Anyway, uh, the villagers uh, who refuse to wear masks are being forced to dig graves to vic for victims of coronavirus by local authorities in one part of rural Indonesia in the hopes that a little bit of manual labor and empathy will convince others to do their part to help stop the pandemic. Three middle-aged men and, and five minors. Oh my gosh! That's kind of the next level there. Minors. Okay, okay, okay. Three middle-aged men. I'm not saying that. I mean, I'm minors. Minors, guys. 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 Guys, they're doing it to minors. In Cern <coughs> District of Gresuk Regency, East Java. We're given the unique punishment on September, September 9th, authorities said. Though mask wearing is mandatory in public throughout Indonesia, there has been a vocal segment of the population that has been reluctant to wear masks and practice social distancing. Okay. Okay. So, as, uh, as spikes, uh, as cases spiked in recent months, Indonesia government passed a law in July requiring people to wear masks in public, but left it to Local, okay, local, just local officials. I don't know what local official means. I said judge, but maybe I assume too much. Maybe it's just like some dude. You're like an official, right? What do you say? Yeah, make them dig graves. Hey, he said they said they could dig graves. You know, it's a local town drunk. Whatever, it's, he's an official. To determine punishments for non-compliance, a joint team called the Three Pillars, which consists of the Indonesian National Armed Forces, Indonesian National Police, and local armed forces, are in charge of enforcing mask restrictions across the country. And in CERN, the Three Pillars gives those caught not wearing a mask the option of accepting a fine of 150,000 rupiah! 
which is which is 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 just ten bucks, ten bucks, man, ten bucks. Or accepting what the government calls social punishment. Oh my, social punishment. And so the social punishment is you you dig graves, you dig graves. So authorities in the capital of Jakarta adopted a similar idea earlier this month. Okay, a man. Oh, oh, this is worse. <laughs> oh no no no. A man there was required to sit in a coffin in public after being caught not wearing a mask. Man, are you kidding me? You just... You know, we have the Bill of Rights. That's why our government can't do idiot crap like this. Not that they don't try, but at least we have a methodology to ostensibly check them from doing that that's why we have to stand for the bill of rights in america it's so that we don't end up one day being forced at gunpoint to sit in a coffin in public because we didn't wear a mask because of a virus thingy that's that's what the world is coming to that's it i went out i'm gone i'm going i'm going to go down down the road i'm going to spend the rest of the time in the waffle house until this is all passed so listen i'm just going to be there it's going to be eating my waffles, drinking my coffee, some grits, and, well, I won't be drinking the grits, but, yeah, I'll be drinking my coffee, just chilling out in the Waffle House till this thing all blows over. Until, I tell you what, Indonesia, give me a call. When you're not doing this anymore, let me know, then I'll come back from the Waffle House. Maybe we can talk with the rest of the world again. All of us can talk again. Until then, hanging out at the Waffle House. However, it's not clear if these types of penalties have increased mask wearing in Indonesia. Probably not. <clears throat> Probably not. The country has failed to flatten the curve, as noted right there, failed to flatten the curve. So, there you have it. Long short is, uh, if you don't straighten up, the government will eventually make you sit in a coffin in public in front of everybody, and there's nothing you can do about it but smile and say, thank you, have another. <laughs>